Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I'm going to show you how to hide the default bookmarks that come with the not only the Nautilus file manager, but also the file managers that, that were derived from Nautilus, which is uh, Kaja over on the Monte desktop, and then also Nemo on the Cinnamon desktop. Uh, same procedure is going to work for all those. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, first let me get me out of the way, drag my picture over to the side here. We'll open up my file manager. And so you see over here, you've got, these are bookmarks that are uh, pre-installed, pre-set up, whatever you want to say. Down here, these are ones that I have set up myself. Now, if you've never set up a bookmark, uh, very easy to do. Let's just, we'll start out in the Dropbox folder. We'll go to this YouTube folder. And if I wanted to bookmark that, just come up here to these three little bars. Click the bookmark dislocation, boom, there you are. If you want to get rid of that bookmark now, you just go and right click it, go to remove. Easy enough. Now, these over here that are set up by default for you, you can't get rid of them. Right click on it, can't remove it. Can't, can't remove it. So, I mean, if you're like me, I don't have my pictures folder or documents on within my home folder. So these bookmark locations, they're useless to me. Um, you, so, you know, I, I love the GNOME desktop, but it's stuff like this where uh, they have made it so difficult to, uh, you know, to go and, and make what should be a simple little tweak to your system, I mean, why can't you get rid of these bookmarks? That uh, just does not make sense to me. Um, and it never has. This has always been something that's irritated me. You know, uh, I really love the workflow that you get with, uh, with the GNOME desktop. I love uh, the look of it. And I love how it behaves, all that kind of stuff. But this kind of stuff just drives me up the wall. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to easily fix that. Uh, there's two text files that we got to modify, and and that's it. And I'll leave instructions down below in the video description so you can uh, you can go back and do this if you want. So the first place that we're going to go, it's within our home folder, and we're going to go to bum 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 bum. Look at my notes here. So go to the dot config. Now, any, any file that uh, begins with a dot is normally hidden. Now, I've got it set up on mine so that it'll show the hidden files, but normally you're not going to see that. So you'll have to go and go to Show Hidden Files so that you can see that. You're going to go to the dot .config file, and then this user-dirs.dirs, you're going to want to get into that file. So you can either double-click it or if you right-click in an Open with Text Editor, and all you need to do is all of these right here, anything that you don't want to show, you just put a pound sign in front of it. That's it. Very easy. So get rid of that one. That one. Okay, that's done. Now there is another file that we got to do essentially the same thing, and that one is within your root directory. It's actually in the etc folder. So you are going to need root privileges to modify that one. So we're going to open up the terminal. There. And I'm just going to use the nano text editor. You can use gedit or any, you know, whatever text editor you want. You're, you're just going to need to be sure that it's one that you can use with uh, administrative procedures. So we got sudo nano, and then there's the file, and my password. And see if I could spell correctly today. There we go. And so just like before, we're going to do the same thing. 
put a pound sign, pound, pound, pound. And then get out of here and save this. All right, that is all done. Now all we got to do is reboot our system and we're good to go. So let me go and close all this up. We'll reboot and then come back and you can take a look at what we got. Okay, we're all done. We're rebooted. Let's take a look at what we've got. And you can see here that with the exception of home and trash, all of the uh, all the uh, pre-set up, pre-installed, whatever you call it, uh, all those bookmarks are gone. And we just have the ones that I have set up. And you can see I've started setting some others up. And I'll go and do that. Get uh, you know, you can see I got my my uh, my real documents folder there, not the uh, not the one that was up in the home folder. And uh, you can go and rearrange these so that uh, you know that there's a specific order that you want to go with. You can do that. And uh, essentially, that's all there is to this tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Uh, if you got any uh, you know ideas on on stuff that you'd like to learn how to do on the Linux desktop, GNOME specific, uh, you know, GNOME especially. Uh, just because that's that's the desktop I love to hang out on. Uh, leave comments down below on what you'd learn like to learn how to do, and uh, you know, if I can do it, I'll get a tutorial up on how to do that. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.